So at this point, everyone should have seen uh, the video on being wrong. And one of the important messages uh, that I picked up on was that even though we can all acknowledge that we're fallible and potentially wrong about things, there's no point in time when we actually think that we're wrong about anything. In fact, we feel that our fund of knowledge is completely accurate all the time until somebody proves us wrong. And when they do, we don't like it. So human beings have created defense mechanisms that protect us from discovering that we're wrong. And one of those defense mechanisms is called confirmation bias. And really all that means is that we believe what we believe and when someone tells us otherwise, we don't believe them. So for every single belief you have, there are two pools of evidence. One pool is supporting evidence that we like because it's evidence that tells us we're right. So we tend to embrace that. And the other pool of evidence is disputing evidence that tells us we're wrong. And we do not like disputing evidence. One of my favorite quotes is from a guy named Dudley Field Malone. And he said, I never learned anything from someone who agreed with me. Think about that for a second. I never learned anything from someone who agreed with me. Learning cannot occur if we do not accept evidence that disputes what we believe. We remain in ignorance if we ignore disputing evidence. So a good scientist will do this. The scientist will take the supporting evidence and the disputing evidence and see how much of it there is, how much supporting evidence exists, how much disputing evidence exists, and what is the quality of that evidence? You can go on the internet and pretty much find somebody who agrees with you about everything. And in fact, if you uh, go on Facebook a lot, your feed will be tons of stuff that you already agree with. So you'll get all these memes and news stories and uh, posts about stuff that you already agree with. So if you're liberal, you're going to get a ton of liberal stuff. If you're conservative, you're going to get a ton of conservative stuff. Bottom line here is that you have to seek out accurate information. One gold standard for accurate information is scientific journals. Scientific journals are rigorously reviewed and basically put out the most accurate information available at any given time. As far as news sources, I have uh, posted a chart called a media bias chart. I've um, posted it as a PDF, but if you click on it, it will take you to the website. And that website basically has gone through this really tedious, involved process of being unbiased and determining uh, whether news sources are accurate and whether or not they're skewed to the left or the right. So if you look at the image here, the news sources are arranged in a pyramid. Sources found on the left lean towards a liberal slant. Sources listed on the right lean towards a conservative slant. The lower you go towards the bottom of that pyramid, the less reliable that news source is. In other words, they provide inaccurate information. The higher you go on the pyramid, the more accurate and reliable the news source is. So what you should be looking for is a neutral news source that is highly accurate. So there's a good clump of them at the top of the pyramid 
and they're listing uh, ABC News and the Associated Press as the most neutral, reliable news sources. And if you want somebody to tell you you're right, you go with whichever uh, biased news sources uh, feed you in that way. If I am using confirmation bias, I accept supporting evidence and say it's great, and I uh, ignore disputing evidence, and I'll make all kinds of excuses why that disputing evidence is inaccurate. The end result of that is learning is prohibited, so you remain in ignorance. This is not a desirable outcome. The foundation of a developed mind is the willingness to change positions when disputing evidence outweighs supporting evidence for an existing belief. What does that mean? The foundation of a developed mind is a willingness to change positions, a willingness to change my mind. When I find that the disputing evidence is of higher quality and greater quantity than the supporting evidence for my belief. If I have a developed mind, I'm going to change. If I don't, I'm going to stick with my guns and never change my views about anything and just remain ignorant. Um, you have to have a good deal of emotional maturity to pull that off. <laughs>